The focus needs to be on saving you right now. Okay, just, just forget about everything else. I can't. You, you have to. Can you? I, I'm, I'm doing what I have to do right now. Why can't you understand that, You're Green? not making some false confession to murder all for me. End of discussion. No, Brian, I'm telling you, I'm not going to... What was that? I don't know. You don't know? It was a kiss. Yeah, I got that part. But why? Why why now? Because, Greenlee, I was trying I was trying to talk to you. You were listening to me, okay? I was trying to make you understand. Understand what? Greenlee, court's back in session. I need you in here. is done with me. Another divorce. You're not surprised, are you? It's not like you were going to follow him off to prison just now. I did this to him. He never would have stolen Palmer's idea if it wasn't for me. But me, I had to... I had to push him. I, I had to try to make him into... Me? Someone he's not. Yeah, me. It's not about you. Scott made a big mistake. And he did the Scott thing. Started spilling his guts. No, Scott is a good man. Scott is a coward. What are you going to do? I'm going to do exactly what Scott told me to do. Leave the mansion and get as far away from you as possible. I tell you what, why don't you go finish that in the office and I'll go bring you some juice, okay? Okay. All right. Wait, 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 gotta get my sugar first. Wait. All right. <laughs> Have fun. Boy, he looks more like his daddy every day. He looks like his mother, too. Oh, of course. So, I'll just have a cup of coffee, please. Sure. Thank you? You know, I just uh, always thought of you as a tea person. It must be so hard on little AJ. With the custody battle and all. Yeah, well, it'll work out. Well, he's lucky to have you. I mean, that Chandler house is certainly no place for a little boy like that at the moment. What are you getting at, Erica? I assume that Marissa is going for the jugular. And I assume that you're hoping to use that against JR to get Cortland back. We're on the same team here, Crystal. I'm on my daughter's team. It's that simple. With you, I'm never quite sure. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning? Shouldn't you be at court supporting Jack right now? So do you want to tell me what's going on between you and Ryan? I have no idea. You want to tell me what's going on between you and Ryan since the trial started? What are you talking about? Whispers, glances. I'm your client. And your daughter. Yes, I'm well aware of both of those things, believe me. Miss Colby, will you call your next witness, please? Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to call Kendall Slater. I thought she was one of our witnesses. Well, she is, but there's a certain amount of overlap on the witness lists. It's not unusual. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I found it in Ryan's jacket. What? That vial that you're holding? Ryan had it. Oh my god. I think he did it. Kendall, I think you poisoned David.
you've known each other for years, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. You guys own a company together? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you're closer than partners, right? She's one of my best friends. Of course, we've had our ups and downs, but she's one of the most important people in my life. So, prior to the night that Dr. Hayward collapsed, were you aware of any friction between Mr. and Mrs. Hayward? David saved her life, too. That doesn't answer my question. Were you aware of any strain between Dr. and Mrs. Hayward? Every married couple has moments of tension. But I'm not talking about arguments over who takes out the garbage. Were you aware of any serious strain between Mr. and Mrs. Hayward? I wouldn't know. Your Honor, permission to treat the witness as hostile? Go on. Were you aware that David Hayward was blackmailing his wife? Uh, let me refresh your memory. You and I had a conversation where you told me that you were aware of the blackmail. And just a reminder that you are under oath and you are on probation. So should you choose to perjure yourself, you will most likely go to prison. Were you aware of the blackmail? Yes. I knew that David was blackmailing Greenlee. Hmm. And did Greenlee confide in you about certain documents that he was holding over her head and threatened to reveal if she threatened to leave the marriage or end it? Yes. Did you know what was in these documents? They were fake. Well, you don't have any proof of that now, do you? No. Hmm. But you were concerned enough that these documents could incriminate your friend, that you stole them and you destroyed them. Isn't that correct? It's a, it's a matter of public knowledge. It's why you're on probation. Yes, but there was... But you were willing to break the law and destroy these. You must have known what they contained. Mrs. Slater. The papers connected Greenlee to my mother's plane crash, but they were fake, so and you Dr. were the one who helped Hayward with that. So threatened to reveal that Mrs. Hayward attempted to murder Erica Kane. No wonder she was so desperate to get out from under that black Objection. Black Your witness. I was actually on my way to the courthouse. I just wanted a cup of coffee, but... Of course, you're always trying to sell something more. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I know it must really be pretty crazy at your place right now with the trial, and working with Caleb. Working on Palmer's legacy. Yeah, of course. JR stole Portland Electronics from Caleb. I owe it to Palmer to try to do everything I possibly can to get that back. That must really have been hard. I mean, one minute, you and Jack are enjoying the honeymoon that's not really a honeymoon. And then the next thing you know, you're here. Skivvies deep in corporate intrigue with Caleb. Skivvies? Really? <laughs> what exactly are you asking? Not. It's none of my business, really. Gil, well, that never stopped you before. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it... Caleb? Or is it Jack? Excuse me? Just trying to figure out who you're so concerned about. Funny, I, I think you should ask yourself the same question. Anyway, uh, to more important things, uh, do you think Jack's going to win this case? you think he's going to prove Greenlee's innocence? I have no doubt. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? That is not your problem. What if I say it is? The last thing Scott said to me is that I still have a chance to give my daughter the life that I want to give her. By leaving me? Yep. This is Scott trying to mess things up for me. He's right. Leaving you and leaving that house, it's the only way. Since the second I walked in there, it's been nothing but, but pain and, and hurt and... You know that's not true. I mean, there's been plenty of that. But there's been a lot of other good things, things that weren't all bad. How can you say that? Look at us. We are in a police station, and your cousin just got hauled off to prison. Hey, come on, this isn't about Scott. Scott's gone. Just like that? Yeah. You need some time to figure things out. I get it. But to walk out the door like that, that's not the way. Let me help. I told you I don't want your help. Annie, 
Your assets have been frozen. You don't even have a place to stay. I survived way before I ever even met a Chandler. I'll figure it out. Annie, I'm not going to stop you if that's what you want. But at least let me do something for you. No. I don't want any more Chandler money. My life might be a complete mess right now, but at least I still have a little bit of self-respect. Self-respect? Is that enough? You could have so much more. Annie.